Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Christian. Peace. How are you? I'm fine. Well, you call me, right? Yes. Yes. Of course. Uh, I hope you remember me. I'm um, I'm the engineer. You know. Do you remember? I don't really remember. You know. So sorry. I remember. I remember Islam very well. Anything else? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Okay. No problem. I talked to you before two weeks, I guess. And uh, all right. Yeah, we, we I was asking you uh, too many questions, and uh, now what you are talking uh, about right now is uh, beyond uh, beyond crazy, you know. So you are an ex-Muslim, uh, my friend? No, no, I'm I'm currently I'm a Muslim, and uh, oh, you're still Muslim? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm still a Muslim, uh, oh. and uh, we, but uh, you, you know, are saying to me beyond the crazy. So how you stay as a Muslim and you believe it's crazy? What do you think then? I mean. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I can, my brain uh, can't comprehend this fact. You know, it's too, too, too much for me. Uh, uh, these days, like I was listening to your podcast a lot, and uh, I just don't know. What do you think about what we say that Al Muhammad he saw the angel Jibril sitting on the throne of Allah, but yet this is the throne of Allah? How that can happen? What do you think? How he's an angel? An angel is yeah. made to carry the throne, and we showed you the reference, you know, in the Tafsir al, -Al Tabari, where it says yeah. that Allah Muhammad he said, explain. He asked the angel, said, Do you know do you know why I created you? They said, No. They said, I created you so you can carry my throne. And this is the reference in the front of us. Uh, yeah. قالوا, قالوا عرشي. You, do you speak Arabic? No, no, no I can't. Okay. I can't. So yeah. Muhammad confirmed that Allah created the angels to carry the throne. So Jibreel sitting in the throne doing what? <laughs> it's it's amazing for me. But uh, if you if you don't mind, uh, can I ask you one question? It's maybe sure. off topic, but but it's uh, really what 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 got me into it. Uh, you recently have a debate with with uh, one Muslim kid, I remember, and it's all about free wills. Right. And uh, after that debate, I asked my imam about uh, the topic. Uh, if you remember the hadith, it uh, claims that, uh, uh, what's his name? Moses was uh, defeated because of uh, Adam present that he, does, he doesn't have a free will. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just presented that uh, hadith to the imam and he told me, uh, uh, this guy, this Christian prince guy, uh, doesn't have any idea of uh, about the concept of Qadr, you know? Hmm. So, so what, 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 what is the answer? Okay, let us say I don't have any idea. What is the, yeah. what, what is his idea? It is here. Yeah, he told me that Allah uh, does not decree any uh, presupposed uh, free wills, but uh, the concept of Qadr at the meantime said he decrees. What he decrees? Uh, free uh, human free will is uh, okay. presupposed by Allah. Is is That's, is yeah. is, uh, is this guy uh, like? Did you ask him to come and debate me, challenge me live, and you watch? Uh, yeah, he refused. He said <laughs> he said you're you're uh, rude. Hmm. So yeah. well, so if somebody is rude, then uh, you what? We will debate the one who agree with us. I don't know. I don't know. You see, if we go right now and we look in the Quran, I, I wish this guy he have the courage. He will not debate me, uh, because yeah. simply he knew he will be, uh, you know, he will be shish kebab. This is the whole point. All right, the Quran confirm in tons of verses that Allah, He is the one who guide. He guide who He will. He wish, and He mislead yeah. the one He wish. That is this. Yeah. The, the, this is a decree. Yeah. Because. When you say when you say it's Allah who decide who is going to be guided, it means this is guidance not for everybody. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. if guidance is for everybody, and then people they have a free will, there's no there is no need to say Allah He guide who will and He misguide who don't, or yeah. or He will. So, uh, 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 so why why the Quran says that? Yeah, there is no, no free will in that statement. There's no, no free way. will. And the, and the really? hadith itself, the one we spoke about uh, Adam, uh, you know, yeah. uh, Musa was uh, blaming Adam for his sin, right? Yeah. So uh, Adam, he says, do you blame me? When, when somebody says to you, do you blame me? It's mean you cannot blame me, right? 
True. Yeah. True. So what 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 is uh, what this guy saying that I I don't I have no idea. Yeah, he tried to uh, um, he tried to define the concept of Kedar for me, but uh, the so-called Kedar is also the same thing. I I, I couldn't accept it because it says like uh, Allah decrees uh, His will on His uh, apostles, not let nothing ask, about free will. Do people yeah. uh, uh, do people they they fight each other because it is their will, they kill each other because it's their will or the will of Allah? What do you think? Uh, I believe it's uh, their will. Okay, the verse in the front of us, chapter two, verse number two five three. Mm. Do, do you have Quran with you? Uh, not right now. Not. Well, I'm, I'm on my phone. Which, calling which translation you like to read it from? There's a favorite translation you want. Uh, translation. Uh, mm. Who do you say? Uh, Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. Yeah. Chapter two, verse number two five three. Look what it says. Those messengers we endowed with gifts, some above others. To one of them, Allah spoke, others he raised degrees of honor. To Jesus, the son of Mary, we gave clear signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. If Allah had so willed, succeeding yeah. generation would not have fought among each other. <laughs> wow. If Allah will. If Allah wow. he willed that not to happen, they will not. So this is Allah will. After a clear wow. sign had come to them. But wow. they choose wrongly some believing and other rejection. If Allah had so willed, again, they would not have fought each other. But Allah fulfilled his plan. Do you see it? Wow. So, so why they are against each other and why they don't agree with each other and why they kill each other? Because simply this is Allah will and this is Allah plan. Wow. So how this okay. shaykh he says Christian prince he do not know what he's talking about. Allah is making it clear that if if it's not my will they will not fight each other. If not my will they will not go in disagreement with each other. So all the fighting and all the disagreement with each other fighting each other killing each other it was to fulfill the plan of Allah. Not their plan. This is the plan of Allah. So how he say wow. that I don't understand what destiny in Islam mean. Destiny in Islam is very clear. Everything, people, they kill each other because Allah, he wanted them to kill each other. Right? Wow. Wow. So if this guy, he have a courage, tell him, tell him, uh, uh, if a Christian prince is rude, as you claim, well, that will help you to expose him because a rude person, people will not listen to him. You yeah, know, because yeah. obviously he is not. You see, if somebody is just being rude, uh, this person is not qualified even to uh, to listen to because he's being rude. But maybe for this guy, he's obviously he knew that rude for him. I say the truth, and he cannot defeat the truth. So the only way to escape what what is going to come from this debate is is to say this guy is rude. Yeah, it's very hard uh, to defend that, to be honest, because uh, it's it's all there. I mean, everything, everything in Islam is about Allah will. You see, like uh, yeah. uh, as an example, based <laughs> on this, the verse I just showed you speaking about the Christians, he's saying yeah. that they, 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 they disagree with each other because this is Allah will. So we as a Christians, we are as a Christians. We did not. Yeah. We, we we Allah. He sent us a clear sign, and then we choose wrongly. But yet, it's He's saying it is it is His will that we fight with each other. It is His will that we will disagree with each other, and then this is His plan. Well, so that that's mean if Allah, if this is the if the will of Allah to guide us, then we will be guided. Wow. In different verse in the Quran, the Quran says the following. Wow. Let us go to this one. Look what the Quran say. Okay, just one second. Uh, uh, I wanna, I wanna write this verse. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. Chapter four, verse number eighty-eight. Okay. Let us read the Muslim translation. They use the word in Yublil. It says, uh, 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 "Send astray," which is very funny. Mm -hmm. Chapter 4, verse number 88. Let us see what it says. 
It says, why should ye divide into two parties about the hypocrites? Allah has uh. upset them for their evil deeds. Would ye guide these or those whom Allah has thrown out of the way? For those whom Allah has thrown out of the way, never shall you find the way. And by the way, this is a false translation because the word yudlil, it means deceive. Yeah. If you change the translation, you will see the translator, he, he come with different words. Have nothing to do with the versus the, the, the previous translation. Yeah. yeah. So he says to them, look, what mm. allies you that you are become two parties regarding the hypocrites when Allah cast them back to disbelieve? Who is the one cast them to disbelieve? Allah. <laughs> okay. This is the, by the way, still this is a false translation because it does not say that. It says Allah is the one who deceived them because of mm. what they earned. Seek ye to guide him who Allah has sent astray. Can you guide the one who Allah misguide? So, so Muhammad, so Allah saying to the to 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 Muhammad supposedly, do you think you can guide the one who I misguide? Wow. <laughs> what is more clear than this? Yeah. You cannot yeah. guide. You cannot guide the one Allah. The, uh, when the Muslim they say here in the, in the in their false translation, the one who Allah sent astray. How you can send somebody astray? Yeah. You fool him. If you're yeah, you yeah. deceive if him. You're the God. Yeah. They're trying to use a nicer word from from deceiving. They say he sent him astray. How he sent him astray? So the guy did not choose to go astray. It is Allah who sent him astray. Yeah. And Allah clearly. saying, do you think you can guide the one who I misguide? You cannot, you know, and there is tons of verses in the Quran like this. Chapter four, verse number one, forty-three. It says exactly the same. Do you yeah. think you can guide the one who I misguide? Read, yeah. read, read carefully with me. Swaying between this and that, belonging neither to to those nor to those. I don't know what does that mean. It's stupid translation. He whom yeah. Allah has caused to go astray. Though, O Muhammad, will not find a way to him. It's Allah who sent him astray. Wow. Basically, in Islam, it is only Allah's will, I guess. It's only Allah will. And at the same time, Allah will have not, do nothing. You know, uh, Allah will prove to be false will because simply, you know, when we ask the Muslims, as an example, yeah. if Allah, he said in the Quran to the shaitan, that you have no authority over my followers except the criminals the one who wow. follow thee okay the quran confirmed that only the criminals who they follow shaitan shaitan have authority over them then how muhammad receives satanic verses Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan illa man attaba'aka min al-ghawin chapter 15 verse number 42 15 15 15 verse number 42 okay. Okay, just certainly you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow you hmm? yeah of uh, the bad people the criminals and those, and look here, the translation, Mushrikeen and those who go astray and the criminals and polyesters and, and the evildoer. So, shaitan have no authority except only those people. How shaitan gave Muhammad satanic verses? How the Muslims admit that Muhammad was controlled by black magic? Because black magic is a satanic act. Yeah, but uh, when when uh, actually I have also I'll also raised this question for him. Uh, he said uh, the prophet is a, a mere human being, so this kind of things might happen my to friend, him. My friend, it's this, not a big deal. This guy, he he gave you a stupid answer because Allah is speaking about his servants, and all of them they are a human being. Correct. Correct. Okay, so Allah says you have no authority over my servants or my slaves. Who is the slaves of Allah? The Muslims. Yeah. So Muhammad is one of those Muslims. And Muhammad should be more protected from all the Muslims because the Quran says, I protect you from the mankind and from the genie. Allah, he promised him that. So how he promised him that he is protected from the genie and uh, uh, from the mankind and yet 
Muhammad was controlled by, by Satan and Muhammad he was uh, controlled by black magic Muhammad received satanic verses how that happened obviously the will of Allah doesn't make any sense Allah he yeah. made the promise that you know uh, uh, and those promises cannot be fulfilled if you go to chapter 40 verse number 33 look what it says yeah this was a minute. Chapter 40, okay. verse number 33. A day when you shall turn your backs and flee. No defender shall you have from Allah. Any whom Allah leaves astray, there is no none to guide. <laughs> wow. So uh, there is none to guide. Nobody can guide you. Allah is the one. And but again, this is a false translation. This is a false translation again. Wow. You know, do How you remember you that Muhammad, that? he forgot Quran? uh yes yes i remember that okay in the quran allah allah he said to muhammad this is i'm here I'm, I'm quoting things for you to show you the will of allah chapter 87 okay. verse number six what does that mean we will we will we will give you the the quran and you will not yeah. forget the quran okay but, wow. but Muhammad forgot the Quran. How Allah, he promised Muhammad not to forget the Quran and then Muhammad, he forget the Quran. Yeah, it is It is uh, very difficult to be a rational person and to believe in this, to be honest. And the, the answers you're going to get uh, are not even convincing. Okay, for example, is is the, the Suleiman carpet uh, metaphorical or realistic? No, no, it's a physical. Because as you see, it says, carry his... Uh, his soldiers, his army, the chicken, the, the chicken army, the bird army, the genie army. Even in some interpretation, they give you uh, the number of the chairs, 600,000 chairs. So this is not a metaphorical. Yeah, the, the, that's in the tafsir, right? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, does it, even, uh, even clearly... in the Quran, even, even in the Quran, the Quran, my friend, the Quran says, speak clearly can, that this, can you, uh, that, that, that uh, uh, Suleiman, he have a control of the wind. And what the flying carpet do exactly? exactly? That he had control of the wind, the wind carried the flying carpet. It's not the flying carpet itself who fly. He controlled the wind, he ordered the wind, and the wind carried it. Okay? Uh, so, uh, so the Quran, okay. uh, uh, the Quran confirmed that he have a control of the wind, and this wind goes by noontime a distance of, uh, like he carry him, the, this wind carries Suleiman and his army, his kingdom, by noontime, the distance of one month. وَلِسُلَيْمَانِ wow. الْرِيحُ عَاصِفَةً تَجْرِي بِأَمْرِهِ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا تِبَارَكْنَا فِيهَا وَكُلُّنَا وَكُلُّنَا بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَالِمِينَ It's to Sulaiman, you know, we gave yeah. the, the command of the wind. And it goes by his, by his control. Okay, to do what exactly? To carry him from a place to a place. Wow. You know? Wow. What the wind uh, will do is Suleiman, you know, he will turn it as a fan for the for the heat. No, it was about he traveled from place to place using the wind. And what how he used the wind, it's a flying carpet. Wow. As simple as that. So it's clear it's not metaphorical because uh You see, read, it's, read it's, the translation. Yeah. You said to me you read the translation of Yusuf Ali, right? And we command yeah. suburban to Suleiman the wind blowing violent pursuing its course by by his command to the land which we had blessed so this wind carries Suleiman from land to land yeah and how we understand what happened here we read what the Muslim believe the Muslim believe that there's a flying carpet carry all the kingdom of Suleiman all his uh, uh, his uh, soldiers all his uh, chairs all his equipment uh, the chicken army the 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 pig the the, the uh, the genie, because remember, Suleiman, he have an army of genies, and even he have divers of genies. And wow. even Muhammad, Muhammad, he come, you know, he confirmed in the Quran that there is a special bird in in the uh, in the kingdom of uh, of Suleiman. His name is Al Hudhud, and he is the minister of irrigation, and he worked other part time to look for women for Suleiman who have no hair in their legs. His name is Al Hudhud. Wow. 
Yeah, when you when you ask the, those questions, it's always metaphorical or uh, what it's metaphorical? just description. It's about, the, what metaphorical? It's clear. I I it's clear. I challenge any Muslim to show me how this is can be metaphorical. This guy is a chicken. A chicken, his army. He heard the ant speaking. Is that metaphorical? He arrived at the value of the ant. Is that metaphorical? He heard the ant saying to the other ants, you know, hide. Otherwise, the the, the Suleiman is going to crush you. Is that metaphorical? What metaphorical? He came to the birds. He said, "Where is the hoop hoop?" If he did not give me a reason for his absence, I'm going to slaughter him and make him shish kebab. Is that a metaphorical? The 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 the, the bird. He came back. He said, "I found there a woman ruling ruling over them and provide." Uh, uh, you know, like uh, he started giving this description that they are worshiping the sun, and she have a magnificent magnificent throne, throne and etc. And then in the in the interpretation, give more details that she have hair, no hair in her legs, blah 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 blah. So what metaphorical? <clears throat> when Allah He says that eight angels carry His uh, uh, His throne, is that metaphorical? No. You know, <clears throat> because even Muhammad He claimed. We show you the hadith. Muhammad He said that. When Allah, before Allah created the creation, there was, uh, uh, there was, uh, he was uh, like uh, between uh, above him there is air, and underneath of him is there is air, and he was above the cloud, and then he created the throne. So, the throne, in order to be not metaphorical, should not be created. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, if it is metaphorical, we do not need to, to create something, it is metaphorical. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But as long as it's created, obviously it's not the metaphorical. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it makes sense. It makes sense. All the all the reference we have in the front of us, it's a proving that there's nothing here is metaphorical. And as you see, the the Quran confirmed that everything is by the will of Allah. Why people they fight it with each other because it was the will of Allah. You see, the Muslims they say, and I'm sure they taught you this as a Muslim, that the Bible is corrupt. Is that correct? Yeah, true. Okay, true. Some uh, some verses the, like John eighteen are uh, are not around when the time of the early church fathers. No, no, the, the, it's see, a new. My my friend, those are theories. Those are theories because we have many manuscripts, and if they could not find it in a manuscript they have, doesn't mean it's not exist. Because simply, if somebody says to you, "Okay, I check the manuscript of this uh, uh, museum, and in this manuscript I could not find this verse," doesn't mean it's not exist. Because there's thousands and thousands of manuscripts, and the Bible is written in many, many languages. So, in order to find to say this is not exist, you cannot go by just a manuscript and say in this manuscript we cannot find it. You have to check it, check them all. Same time, even if there is a verse is missing from the Bible, let us say for the sake of argument, that will not change anything, and that will not make the Bible not corrupt. Because if that verse in total agreement with all the Bible, that means nothing change. If I say right now that Jesus is God and he is our savior and I add a verse let us say I want to corrupt the Bible I add a verse to John to the book of John but mm. that changed nothing from the beginning of John it says that God Jesus is God Ooh. if if the whole book saying that Jesus is God correct okay and i am as a christian i decide to make a corruption let us say i'm an evil man i want to do corrupt the bible so i added one verse says jesus is god but that will not change anything because it says all over the bible that jesus is god so what this corruption would do what is, you know you know when somebody speak of a corruption the corruption have to come with some change do we agree uh some change of uh, change of the belief uh, change of the belief otherwise there's no point of the corruption uh, oh okay true right true like if, yeah. I, if i want to if, if i want to sell you a car and you will not buy my car because the the uh, it have a high mileage so what i do i change the mileage mm. to make you what in purpose to make you believe that my car is a good condition and you will buy it but making a change <clears throat> and the change in total agreement with the rest of the book this is this is not that doesn't make sense nobody would do that because it's a nothing changed it's the same if i yeah, if yeah. you know if if i go right now like you see jehovah's witnesses they change the translation in the bible as an example they say in the beginning in john chapter 1 verse number 1 it says in the beginning it was the word and the word was with god and the word was a god by adding a you made a big difference because that you but you make it there's many gods when you say a god 
<laughs> so here, here, it make a difference. Even if, if, even if it's a letter, you see, it's a letter, not a verse. A letter yeah. will make a big difference in the meaning. So if, when we speak about corruption, the corruption should be doing harm to the belief. If anything is exist, it does not provide contradiction for the rest of the belief, then that is not effective and that there's no no person no person would do such a thing to corrupt if he is a good believer, why he would corrupt something in total agreement? I mean what what's the point? He did not add anything to the faith, he did not change the faith. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't have uh, much knowledge about the Bible, so yeah. but if we, uh, I, if we I go couldn't back, say much. My, my friend, if we go back to the to the Hadith, when Muhammad he yeah. said that Allah, before He created His creation, there was nothing. He was above the cloud. Be, uh, in the top of Him there is air, and underneath of Him there is air. And then the what? Muhammad he said, "Yeah, I said, O Messenger of Allah, where was our Lord before He created His creation?" He said. He was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air. Mm. Okay? Mm. And then he continues, you say, and water. And then he created his throne above the water. Here we have a problem. Either the Muslim, they have to accept that this is a corruption, or they have to explain to us how such a thing happened, because if Allah did not create anything yet, how there is yeah. air and cloud and water and why uh, allah all, and why allah all this time did not have a, a throne so why he created a throne what's the point of the throne uh, can you give me the hadith number because uh... oh, this is in existing many hadith not only in one it doesn't matter what you, you depend what one you want you know? yeah because this is uh this is a dilemma you know uh, I hope he will be decent enough. Well, this uh, one to is Sunan Ibn Majah. Have, Sunan uh, okay. Ibn Majah. The, 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 somebody is posting the reference for you in the text in the chat. You can click on it and you can open it. So, okay. uh, it exists all over in many hadith, many locations. And it's, it's explained to us that until the point of Allah creation, started creating things, there was no throne. So, why Allah he needed a throne? What is the throne yeah. for? Yeah. When the Quran says Allah al Arsh istawa, they say to you, We don't discuss how he elevates himself. Ask any scholar, they will say to you, We don't discuss. Why we don't discuss? Do you know why? Because Islam is a stupid religion, full of confusion. And they hmm. found that if they try to discuss that, they, they will they will reach nothing. And they will reach the point that Allah must be a man. Because if the throne is a not metaphorical, and the throne is physical, and the throne is carried by angels. So Allah, he leveled himself in the top of the throne to do what exactly? What What is a throne for? I mean, what is a throne for if it is not physical? Because if, by, by the way, you as a Muslim, what they taught you about Allah, is he a spirit or he is a physical being? Uh... Uh, the hadith says, uh, actually, he the hadith to, 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 to tell us like he have hands and uh, the Quran he's a physical the, being as the a, as a Sunni Muslim. Allah have hands. No, not only the hadith. Yeah, the Quran and the hadith they confirm that Allah have hands, Allah have a shin, Allah have face, Allah have eyes, Allah he 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 have ears. So Allah is a physical being. In Islam is not a spirit. In Christianity, God is a spirit. His existence has nothing to do with the existence of the body. You see, a Muslim once he said to me, "Can you believe in the Trinity? So, what? Where was the Trinity before the birth of Jesus?" So he think the Trinity is a physical being of a body. His name is Jesus, and if there is no Jesus as a physical being, the Trinity is not yeah. there. But this is not the Trinity. You know, this is not what what obviously you don't understand. Jesus, you, you first see. of all, God did not appear for us first time as Jesus as a man. God, he came to Abraham before in the Bible as a man. So Christian don't believe that the first time God came as a man, it was only in the time of Jesus. There's many stories in the Bible confirm that to us. And even Jesus himself, he said, Abraham, he saw me and he witnessed my day. The Jews, they said to him, how, how Abraham, he saw you and he witnessed you when you are not even 50 years old. He said, yeah. before Abraham, I am. 
So his you existence see, have nothing to do with his birth. You see, uh, Christian Prince, uh, the, the difficulty uh, with Christianity for me is uh, the Trinity. No? How, how do you explain? How could one be my three, friend, my friend, three, one? I, I will explain that to you from the Quran, just to make it easier for you, if you don't mind. From where? From the Quran. If you don't mind. Allah. Okay, let's see. You know, you are lucky. My my mouse is not working. <laughs> I cannot move it in the screen. Hold on a second. Uh oh. Let me bring the other mouse. Hold on. Let me see this one. Okay, this one is working. All right. Let me explain to you the Trinity from the Quran. You see, I don't I don't try to explain the Trinity for you from uh, from the Bible because at the end of the day, you as a Muslim, you don't believe in the Bible. So why I want to waste my time? Let us go to the Quran. In the Quran, we will find the following. There's a verse in the Quran confirmed that the Trinity is wrong. It's false teaching. But is the same verse, yeah, is the same true. verse proved to us that the Trinity is correct. Chapter 4, verse number 171. I will open the translation, which you like, Yusuf Ali. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah, Oh, but the truth Christ Jesus the son of Mary was no more than a messenger of Allah and his word so let us let us count together what the Quran confirmed that Jesus was a messenger that means he was a man yes then he was a word okay a, a word of who of Allah he's a word of Allah the Quran says that and his word which bestowed on Mary and the spirit he's what he's a spirit what kind of spirit proceeding from him proceeding from who from god supposedly allah's god right okay so now what we notice here we notice that jesus is a man in the same time he is a word in the same time he is a spirit a three in one so is the trinity is a fact or it's a fiction oh uh, christian prince this is uh beyond my my uh my, my uh, mental capacity is to no 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 it's I, not it's I not don't. just think take it easy if if the quran himself the the same verse saying to us there say no trinity don't say trinity look at how stupid this verse the same verse says say no trinity say no trinity don't say that there's no trinity is the same verse confirming the trinity you just said to me that it's possible that one person can be three in the same time and it's still him jesus before he became a man he was what he was a word so he was a word and that word sent to mary yeah and this he is... became a man and he is a spirit in the same time he have a spirit and this spirit proceeding from god well this is exactly what christianity is teaching that god is one god the spirit god the word god the man so the same verse saying to us that there's no trinity is the same verse confirming that the trinity is a fact and every Muslim should believe in it. Mm. How he say there's no trinity but yet the Quran says Jesus is a three in one. You just said so, to me there's no trinity. <laughs> uh, okay, this is uh, this is unbelievable to be honest. Uh, it is it, it, it is basically uh, the division of Allah. I'm, I mean, no, this is the, the, the this is the delusion of, of of Satan. Satan, you say Satan, he come to you in many doors. If you are a person who like uh, uh, gambling, he can tempt you from the door of gambling. You like money, he come to you from money. You are religious, he come to you from the window of religious. You know, if he, uh, Satan is like a is like a, a water trying to leak into your house. If he could not get from the window, he gets from the door. If he cannot get from the door, he gets from the roof. It depends what you open for him. You have to open for him a door or, or an, an option to go through. So he look at you. You are a religious person. Okay, I will come to them from the door of religion. I will come to them with Muhammad. You are a person who like women. Okay, I will provide you sex. And you will notice that Islam is a collection of all the devil tools. Heaven in, uh, heaven in Islam is, is a porno style. Heaven. What 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 heaven in Allah? If I go right now to to Islam in Islam in, in the heaven of Allah, I open now the door in the heaven of Allah and I see Shabir Ali and Nazir Zakir Naik, 
If I say assalamu alaikum, nobody will answer me. Because according to them, everyone will be holding his clothes between his teeth, having sex. Shabir Ali will be holding his, his dress between his teeth, and he will say to me, Krishna, what are you doing here? Because he can't open his mouth, he's holding his dress, his Islamic dress, and he's having sex, he's holding women between his hands. This is heaven, and this is God. So Islam is a satanic religion. There's no question about that, because if Islam is about being good, Good does not mean you give me slaves, boys, to serve me for eternity. God will not abuse boys. Do you really like to have boys to serve you for eternity? Muslim, they lie to us. They say Allah is against slavery. This is a big fat lie. The Quran make slavery as a big part of Islam. And Muhammad himself, he owned many slaves and he died, he owned slaves and he never freed them. Muhammad himself, he encouraged slavery. Muhammad himself, he make money from slavery. And then in the heaven of Allah, we will find that there's 80,000 women at least having been in my bed created for my sex desire. That is God's slavery. Those wow. women, even Allah, he says in the Quran that Allah will take, take, take their jealousy. Mm -hmm. What kind of, you, you know, see, you know, like imagine, imagine you say to me, I will create for you a human, but I will take his jealousy. Huh? Mm. What does that mean? That means those Allah, He will strip them from their feeling. Yeah. And what does that mean? That means they are zombie. They are living dead. Because to strip somebody from his feeling, what is left about him as a human being? Mm. Mm. Why they will not get jealous? The women, the women in, in the heaven of Allah, they will not be jealous. Why is the, what is that? Why a woman she will not be jealous? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, simply, you know, and, and the Muslim, by the way, they made articles about it that Allah He will take the jealousy of uh, of uh, of women in the heavens, so they will not be jealous from each other. You see, all of those promises made to for the men, even even the Quran confirmed the size of their of their of, the, of their breast. I mean, why? What kind of God He confirmed to me? I saw a video of Adida speaking about the Song of Songs. This is He said this is porn. And did that later, he found the name of Muhammad in this book, which is the book of porn, supposedly. But the Muslim will not, at least the Song of Songs is a song, is a poetry of a man. He is a king. And this king was a sinner man. It's not God talking. It's a song of a man. See, the Bible is book of books. And books of books mean there's many, many writers and not necessarily God is writing, which means there's people who say this. She said, he said, I said, you said. When okay. God, he says something, that's God talking. When God did not say, when, it, when David, he talked, it's David talking. When Musa talks, it's, it's Musa talking. When God says to Musa, do that, it's God talking. So how the Muslims explain to us in the Quran that the Quran describe even to us the size of, of their breast. And how he say, uh, uh, you know, uh, he made them abkar. Nobody touched their, their, their private part. I mean, why you need to mention that to me? Why I need to know the situation, what is inside the vagina? Wow. What is the purpose of that uh, teaching? <sighs> Any Muslim want to yeah. tell me? I understand that yeah. you do not know, and your 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 Sheikh he told you he is not willing to debate me because he's a because I'm rude. Well, obviously, all of them they are afraid because I'm rude. Uh, what rude mean? I'm going to get them busted. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Christian Prince? Uh, what I what I, I'll try to convince him to come to this platform because this is all of this is beyond my capacity. So uh, otherwise, if he refuses, I'll come back uh, towards you with more questions. I try, think try, uh, try with someone better. else. Try with someone else. You know, try with someone yeah. else. If you go, have you ever read chapter five, fifty-five, verse number fifty-six? No. Uh, remind me, please. Let me go there. And I will show you all Muslim translation. And let us see how this religion can be a religion. How this book is a book of God. How does God can be God? <clears throat> let us see. All right. This is the verse, and this is the Muslim translation. You will notice that many Islamic translation they change 
the words. In fact, there's only one of them. He did give a correct translation. His name is Halili and Khan. Halili. Halili and Khan. You see, I'm showing all the translation. Here we go. This is a Muslim website. Have all the translation for the verse. Okay. I'm not choosing my, you know, the one I prefer. You can read them all. Okay. All the translation. Look at this one. He says, and in their me in in in, in them, maid, uh, maidens with averted gallants, and flowered, and 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 deflowered. What and deflowered mean? It's mean nobody have sex with them, right? Yeah, true. By man or genie, before them. Okay, this is the Muslim translation. The fact here, if you go down, you will see, it's not. Look at this guy here. He said, "Untouched by man or genie." What touched? What touched where? Where exactly we're talking about? This is not what the Quran is saying. If you go here, you will see it's giving you the correct words that yeah. men they did not have intercourse with them and they did not bring bring their humans. They did not bring that skin inside the vagina. So the Quran describe even the skin inside the vagina that it is brand new, never broken yet. Why Allah need to tell me that? This is ridiculous. What is the point that God Almighty is speaking about little piece of skin inside the woman's vagina? I mean, we are talking about God and God talking about what is inside the vagina to satisfy me. Who is the one who is the target of this speech? The Muslim Abdul. Allah is saying to them, what? I will give you a brand new vagina. No man. No genie touch it. And what do you mean genie? Genie are sleeping with the women too. Yes, in Islam they teach them a lot of stupid things that genies they sleep with with with, with women. Yeah. <laughs> Who in the world wanna believe in such a crazy okay. madness? What genie sleep with women? How the genie can sleep with women? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh thank you, Christian Prince. I think uh I'll try my best uh to convince him to come to this platform otherwise i'll be back this is too ridiculous yeah well thank you very much my friend mind. if you have any question All about right. christianity uh, be uh, feel free to ask me and uh, trust me my friend go i advise you to go and download the, the gospel of jesus and you will read and you will be amused and you will be amazed of of, of, of the beauty and the wisdom and you will see how he used a different uh, why jesus did not describe for me what women i will have in heaven why he said actually is jesus he said the opposite he said he and she they will not get married in heaven he and she and she they will be the same as angels so obviously we have two different gods we have two different heaven and they are no match our heaven is not a pimp god house it's not a prostitution house where everybody is holding his penis and and and, and jumping over someone the heaven of God have nothing to do with this in Christianity. So why in Islam everything is about vagina and virgins and little slavery for boys and slavery for women and women will take their jealousy from them? Why? What the point? Because this is a this is a man-made religion made for the savage man in Arabia. The savage man mm. in Arabia, he liked to drink as an example. This is why the Quran promised them rivers of wine. They mm. like to drink. And and the savage man in Arabia, he like women who they are white. So you see the, Quran, the Muhammad even in the, not not only in the Quran, Muhammad he described for them that they are so white to the point we can see the the the, the marrow of their bones. Why we need to see the marrow of the bones? Is that because it's a beauty? Yes, it's a beauty for the Arab because this is mean they are extremely white. Arab are racist people who like white, they hate black. It's a simple thing. It's not a secret. Mm. So in order for Muhammad to seduce the Arab, he told them, okay, I will give you women who they are extremely white and extremely, you know, you will like them extremely because simply they are extremely white to the point you can see through their, the marrow of their bones, which I find disgusting. This is not really beautiful for me. This is disgusting. Why I want to see if I can see the marrow of the bones of my wife, that's mean I, I will see the food inside her. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. If I can see the marrow of her bones because she is she is so white. Here Muhammad is trying to seduce men, to seduce them, to tempt them, because he's the devil, saying to them, Look, 
the women you will get there is not just normal women. In different in different hadith, Muhammad he 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 confirmed that those women they will they will there's women Allah will import from the hell. Why wow. they will be import from the hell? Do you know? No, no. Allah will choose from the hell fire the best women for sex, the one who have a lot of expertise, and they are so beautiful. Those the work on prostitution, etc. Those Allah. He will take them from hell and he will ship them to heaven to make the Muslim men happy. So Muhammad, he promised them that Allah will take those women from the hell. He will send them to heaven so they can sleep with them. And not only that, Allah, he chose from those women who have a very good expertise in sex. He will choose from them the women who have a very beautiful breast and very beautiful vagina. If we go here, wow. you will see this. Let's read together. There is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives from the Huri and two from the Huris and 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell. People of hell? What, why women from hell, they will come to, uh, to heaven? Yeah. But why, look what he why, said. Why would he put yeah, them look what he said. in the first all, place? All those women, all of them, they share one thing. All of whom will have a desirable front passage which means their vagina and their breast is so beautiful so i have good news for you allah will take the best of the women from hell the most beautiful women who they are very good for sex he will export them from hell importing them to to, to heaven and those women they have to have a special conditions they have a very front very very beautiful front their vagina, their breast is so beautiful. And then he promised him that your male member, okay, you might be worried now, we have a lot of women for you to sleep with. So what about your male member, member will not function? So Allah, he promised Muhammad that the Muslims will have a male member that will never become a flaccid, i.e. soft or limp. What kind of God he makes such, an, such a, a change in the nature of the man to make his penis functioning 24 hours, seven days a week for eternity. Wow. You will not, the good news, you will not need the Viagra in the heaven. That's what Muhammad is saying to you. <laughs> this is heaven. This is God. And this is the prophet. And we, in, in, in heaven, we have women imported from hell. Yeah. So okay. if you are a good looking woman who work as a prostitute and you have a very good, a good, nice breast and good, nice vagina, don't worry. Allah will take you from hell. Because you have a special, you have you are you have a career, you have a good resume. Allah will search all the resume of the prostitutes in hellfire, and He will take them and He will send them to heaven of Islam. Because Allah obviously He need them there. Their job, their career is not over yet. Allah He need their specialty. He need their career. Yeah, Christian Prince. Uh, I guess uh, it's. it's uh, uh... It's too much for me right now, to be honest. Well, well, my friend, what too much? Just denounce Islam right now, right now, and say Muhammad is a false prophet, and let me invite you to accept the Messiah, the Lord of the Lord, the Wise of the Wise, the King of the King, the one who say no bad words, the one who speak no, 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 no shame. That is my Lord, and this is the one you are following right now, my friend. Why you want to follow a man like this? <clears throat> Do not upset. What, what are you waiting for? I mean, you know, you, you might you might go to sleep. You don't wake up tomorrow. You don't know. Maybe me. Maybe me. I will go to sleep today. I never wake up tomorrow. Right. We do not know who's going to live until maybe after five minutes we die. Maybe maybe a second from now. Salvation, my friend. Salvation. The second you breathe and you lost breath come out. That's it. You lost your way of salvation. I'm inviting you. So you accept. You don't accept. This is your choice. But remember, one day you will be questioned by, by, by the Lord. Did this guy told you? Did he warn you? Did he show you? Did he spend his time with you? What you will say? Uh, uh, but you see, uh, Christian Prince, we need we need this conversation more because I have to know about uh, the the Christian phase too because I cannot just jump in because I'm my friend. Feel free. Right I'm not going to. I, I, I'm not forcing you. Anytime yeah. you have a question, please feel free, and yeah. uh, you know you can call me. No problem. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you very okay, much. Okay. Take care, my friend. Thank you. All right. I will pray for you.
Take care. Thank you. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Let us pray for this gentleman that may the Lord open his eyes and make him a, make a decision. Obviously, he is already out, but he don't have enough courage to say, you know, to say what is uh, 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 what he should say. You know, sometimes this is a very hard decision. It's not easy. I understand this guy is born in an Islamic family. He, his family will go against him. His society will go against him. There's a lot of things, but you can still you can still choose between God and man.